This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome you here to American University, Fender Arena, American University over the years and hosted some great action for the WCHC semifinals and finals and we're privileged to be here with you here for the WCHC semifinals. The first matchup is a DSN Catholic League Sunday Series rematch of last week between St. John It was overtime with St. John's run. They won their next game with a tiebreaker with Bishop O'Connell not able to be enough. They have a fourth seed. And a rematch also of last year's championship game here at the Bender. American McAmara got here taking care of business yesterday at the Mantle, beating St. Mary Riken. St. John just there. That one goes in to start off the Madison the All-American, Elizabeth Seaton, down in a 4-5 matchup to St. John and a close one there. Well, that's how we set things up from last week. This is Bishop McAmara's second game since that amazing matchup with St. John a week ago. Shot clock running down to 12. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. The threes was dropping for St. John's in that contest last week. See if it does the same here. We got to see Miss Louisa Fudd, one of the top juniors in her class. On the girls' side, she had an ACL injury, and she came back strong last week in helping St. John pull off the win. That's a three. Up, oh, and it missed. No good. The rebound there over to Tenedo. Tenedo had a nice game last Sunday. He's trying to pick up on that today. Fudd has it now. Looking over Tenedo. Over again, Fudd got his shot clock at 10. She looks to go inside, the ball went wide, up in the air, and the ball going back to the Mustangs. Two nothing lead here early for the Lady Mustangs here in this one. The two winners will meet, as you've seen this today, 6 p.m. for the WCAC final here at Fender Arena here in America. Shot clock at 18. Back over to Scott from Gibson. Then they swing it back Pitts. Pitts is going to Virginia, by the way. That commitment came down a couple of days ago. Drive. Inside the layup did not go. Offensive rebound there to Vaughn. And a fresh shot clock. Vaughn is open for three. And hits it. That's the shot clock line down. The ball did not hit the rim. The ball was running down. Was able to get that one to go. Early five number lead for the top seeded McAmara. No thank you.
But if St. John's, you think, win the WCAC for a second straight year, they're going to be in the rankings as well. I would even say if they win this game today, they should be a part The rebound there goes over to Bud and then back to Tornado. They bring it up here at the top. DC. That one hits the deck, hits the floor. They're going all over the place for it. And finally, Pitts gets it. Back to Scott. Scott pulls up. It hits. Only seven of the lady for McNamara and top two. week when St. John's got stuff to fall, their offense really has been a little stagnant and this one's so far. King over the bar, they bring it up now. Back, four minutes here left. And in the opening curve. Looking inside, Scott was able to clean that up. It would have been a turnover if she didn't. Scott back inside. Jumper, no good there. Nice rebound there. And they make it. Back comes Bud. They swing it. Jumper from Thomas, no good. Offensive rebound. And Napper is coming to the line to shoot two. Trying to get St. John's on the ball for the first time in the game today. Three, Leah Pitts, That's her first Second, two shots from Taylor Napper. Two shot foul here. First shot, spins out. Second shot here to get the Lady Cadets on the board. That second shot. Seven-one lead, six-point game here for the Mustangs. Mm, to take care of business. This one back over. Scott has it again, and he's swing it back one more time. Shot clock running down to ten. In the corner, pitch for three. No good. Scott got the rebound back. It puts it home. And really, one lead, trying to chase up the ball. St. John's will keep it. Going there in. So many folks are here. Play some of the best action high school basketball in the country. Right here at Fender. And that's a foul on the floor, second team. Third team foul should be against McAmara. I think Johnson not committed a foul. A lot of good shooting here so far. Coming to the line of shoot Two shots for the Lady Thomas. Two shots by the way. No use to this time of year. We'll be up at the MIAA. We have not forgotten that. My main man, he's Scott. It's going to give the action of the B and A Conference Championship games. That includes. Boss Bishop Curley against St. John's Catholic Prep and uh, St. John's and St. Francis always find the experience that rivalry. And we'll have both of them games for you coming up hopefully tomorrow here on the Dice for the Capitol Broadway Showdown between Capitol Christian Academy and Houston. That's going to be Rock Creek Christian Academy hosting National Christian Academy. 9 3 lead here. That's Hope Evans. 
dribbles and she wants to get back into things. It was not her best afternoon last week. You know she can drive the engine. That's a three in the corner. That one tipped and missed there for Hayes. They went on the deck for the rebound and the ball going back to Kendra. Coming your way this week, starting with the WCC semifinals, the MIAB and A Conference Final, Capital Beltway Championship Games, technically, and the Baltimore City District 9 Championship back in the city for that one. Actually, all coming your way on the last right now. Inside! And it did not go, and a travel! The ball going back to McAmel. Questions about that one. That could have went anywhere. No doubt about it. Evans has the time winding down here in the first. 156 left. Yeah, Bender, very nice. Bender, you know, by the way. Passes. The high. Freshman, they got in the corner. Shot clock down to eight. The freshman goes up. And the ball did not elevate. But it will stay with Mr. McAmara but with only four seconds here left on the What a time for the first team foul for uh, first two shots for Shane First shot in there for Hayes. 10 3 lead here with 93 seconds here left in the fourth. Second shot. That goes to go down. Thomas will inbound. Back there. Oh, dribbling. Now they're trying to inside. And got turned over because of it. Inside the paint. Get it back. Scott pulls up. That one hits the side no good. Thomas with the rebound. 46 seconds left in counting here. Swings it to five. We haven't got one yet. Back over. That's inside. Fifteen foul against McAmara. By the way, Scott fouled out of that game last week in overtime. That person goes. Unfortunately for the ladies today, unlike last week, the field goals are down to this one today. They have no field goals from the field. All their points has been at the line here. 11 5 game, 6 1 lead, 4 to wind down, shot clock, aim clock. About a three and a half second difference between the two. Missed it high. Hope back out. Shot clock. Running down. Evans. Gives it up to Scott. Scott way at the top. Over to Hayes. He got to put it up. Swings it. King. Shot clock violation. Almost and it went in. That's the buckle. And that will end the first quarter. Bishop McAmara. Looking good after one. They're up by eight. Don't one seed here over the We will have the second quarter. Another 
Second quarter here underway here at America's Bender Arena. The boys die here with you. And first of four semifinal game, first of two on the girls' side. That's a foul, and Tornado is coming up to shoot two for the Lady Cadets. Got a wave, no, we're not here for the WCAC final. We will have on our matchup. St. John point so far has been from the line. Scott with it. They swing it back to Evans. Inside the shot up, and that front end misses for Gibson. They tried to get the offensive rebound, did not go. Corley got it, and then back over the foot. Bud drives, pulls up, and the first field goal goes in for the Lady Connect. We got a four point game now, folks. And from these two teams, again, the last year's championship game rematch here in the semifinals between the two. And like I said, they made last Sunday on the Bias Wing Network. Check out the archives of that one. What a game it was. Scott, nice pass to Spring, and they get it through. And Blocking foul. It's only a second team foul against St. John's. That's McAmara. Scott shooting a pair. Again, much more active early in this game than she was last week. Here's the section. And Alita Pitts has returned for the Lady Mustangs. One shot. One more shot here. Got it. We got an eight point lead again. There for Bishop McAmer. And one will take on the runner of our next matchup. Four to six. Bishop O'Connor. An interesting matchup that's going to be. Pull up for three. Front end miss. Rebound to Pitts. Over to Scott. And lost it on the transition. Poorly. Back to, back to Fudd here. Fudd. Double. Nice split. Back. Thomas inside. Blocked away. Ball will stay with St. John for 15 seconds. Left to on the shot.
practicing it again. And St. John's trying to get it going offensively. Oh. The top screen. Over. Shot clock down to two and a walk. Another turnover by St. John's. Ball back to McNamara. 554 here left in the first half. from Evans, front end mess. Pitch with the offensive board. Buzz, nice steal by her. And then they give it up there to Corley. Back over to Tomato. Drive, nice shot. Thomas, the rainbow. But then St. John's gets a gift. That's Gibson, the trying to reach for it and tap it. That's out of reach. 14 left in the first half. But trapped in the corner, tipped and missed. Thomas tried to hustle. This staying with St. John's as King knocked it out. Shot clock still fresh at 30 for the Lady Cadets. Both teams with all their time out for Time for the Lady Cadets here. Tornado swings it. That's a three from Corley. Hits it. That's where the three ball. Lee comes to five. St. John's. St. John's takes time out. And a full time out for them. Well, as always, we thank you here for joining us here on the Dodge Show. Now, we check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Dodge Willie Net. Of course, on our official Facebook page, I support Network Network Violence, right on the YouTube. Over 960 plus subscribers strong. We thank you so much for it. Check us out. We have action throughout the area. And also, as well, after our boys games, too, today, we're going to have the results of the IAC Championship game between St. Andrews and uh, Sidwell Friends on the boys' side. At Murray, as we're taking this today. The guys joined up as well. As we might have it some, we will have it some tomorrow. We can have it on today. Our final matchup here today for our Capital Broadway Showdown matchup. So, thank you all for checking us out once again. We're going to the best sports action in the game the area, and boy, we have tried to bring you the best action to the rocket area. Back to game action. St. John's again trying to find that offense and starting to come here for them in this game. Back here, 446 left. Here in the first half. Mac American trying to stain their grip here in the WCAC. Trying to set up the showdown with them and Paul Six. And Paul Six can take care of them. It's not an easy game. McConnell, by the way, beat Paul the Six in their last meeting. That goes in. How about that? 1912. And Tomato, the senior. Put it up there to Tillman. Tillman going all the way to the basket, Mr. Knight. Back to King. Up, tip, and intercepted. She's trying to look for Scott. Thomas again with the hands up. She's been very well with that so far. Inside that tip and miss. Rebound there to King. Back to Evans. That's the skimmer up the barn. Scott swings back. They swing it again. Nice pass work. King inside. Offensive foul. Seventeen five now against McNamara, and that's good news for St. John's because the foul situation will help them. Three 
40 left in the first half. Looking to drive. Tornado drives to the hoop. She's met again with resistance and another call against Macklemore. St. John. It's only a 13 foul against the Lady Connection in the first half. Scott will inbound. 19 14. Contact 
there, but Scott's got a second now, and the double bonus on the back for St. John's. Definitely got a rip. Definitely got a man in the group of that call. I got to make that. Second shot to get this a four point game here. Got him. Again, St. John's have used the line to keep themselves within the game here. Seconds left here in the first one. Evans. Scott. Scott and King both with two fouls. from Pitts. Hits the back, no good. Nice lead on there by Corley. Well, get it. Shot clock, game clock is equal to each other. Here, about to get back in the first semifinal game. St. John's, of course, seed. Bishop McNamara, the one seed here. And the girls' side of the WCAC. Scott, contest. Hammer. Through the basket, Allison Scott. Foul charge to the Lady Thomas. That's her first. That's a way to get our Capitan going. One shot. And the M1 uh, here to shoot. Tip to miss the end one tip. Four point lead here for McNamara. Clark gives it up to Tornado. Swing it back again. Well against Scott. It's been a good pattern throughout this one. Nice pick, but it didn't go in. Gone at the grab the rebound for it went out of bounds. Just swing it. Pitch. Defensive efforts in this game has been huge for St. John. But, drop, kiss, inside, Napper with the two. And it's a two point game again. 
Two rematches this week in the Nashville Network. It's like a bookend. This one and then Kylie and Lake Clifton. And their rematch for the Baltimore City Championship game on the boys' side. That's a three. Evans couldn't get it. Back to the pitch and the fresh shot clock. Vaughn has it and looking to set it up. Back over. Swings it. Inside to Scott. Pulls up. Still goes in the second half, goes to the senior All-American. We're in the Jordan Brand game as well. Swings it back. Third off the screen. Tornado for three. Bing! One point game. Become a nice rivalry here in the WCAC between these two girls programs. Very successful in the last couple of seasons. Expect to see both of them in the official goals. Invitation. Shot clock running down. Inside. We swing it back. Gone. Shot clock violation. Not aware of the clock. Not aware of it. Oh, that's good. Shot clock violation. One point lead, St. John trying to take the lead for the first time in this game. Last Sunday it was more lead changes than lotto tickets being played. Foul off the ball against McNamara. He's there for the second half. Teams at a foul apiece. That's a third. It's first. Right. Swings it back. Corley, looking to put it up. Nice save by Thomas, and a foul against King. St. John's is dominated at the line, and they can take the lead with two free throws here. First shot. That one's his out. Wow. Well, I guess the commentator Jank strikes again. So, second shot here. This is tied up. We are tied. That's 26. 26. Tied up here at 26. 447 here left in the third. With these two, it's not expected. Gone. Back. That was Hayes. Now the King. King inside! A nice move. That unbreaks the tie. But, yes, Scott. Looking inside. Naper. He finds it. That's 28. Swings it. Four, four left. Swings it. Inside, back. Gone for three. Hits it. Gone to sophomore. It was huge last. Sunday and that three was huge there to give the Lady Mustangs a top seed the three point lead back. Swing it. But double back for the 
tie. No good. Vaughn gets the ball from Hayes. Now they're setting it up again. Shot clock at him. Oh, what a dip pass, but it was turned over. Numbers now for St. John's. They had him briefly. Big City. No back. Thomas missed it wide. Ball batted in the air. And then McNamara gets it. That could have went either way because both feet was on the line. They was going a lot as they were saying. 246 left here in the third. That was a very quick moving third quarter by the way. Gone. Over to Scott. They swing it. Gone gets it back. Shot clock at six. Scott. Nice dish. And King is at the line to shoot. Nice way to run the offense. Second team foul against St. John. Both teams have oh, already fouled the piece. Here in this one. Second two shots. Two games. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Five point lead here for the top seeded Mustang. Two twenty-two left. The side. A lot of physicality in there. No late whistle. Tornado coming to the line to shoot two. Second shot, what was that? Lee down to three. Scott swings it. Hayes for three, no good. Nice grab with the rebound there by Napa. And put some deep back. Week when it was St. John's on Scott, they frustrated it, and McAmer is doing the same in this game at the front. There is no open lane for it. It has been tough for the junior, but boy, she can make something happen when she has to. Hey, it's on. I mean, hey, it's on. Nice dip. Major gets it in. And we got our solo goal. with that one. Nice beans, by the way, by St. John's Rock. St. John's run Bill in this one. Turnover! You see them on the first board, somebody got on. That's the match. That's the match. Inside! Third missed it wide. Out of bounds. It's going to go back to Michael. Second difference between the two. Back over. Back clock running. Gone. Back. Hayes. Got the box. Got to do something. King 
pulls up. Tough shot. Out of bounds. Going back to St. John's. 13.2 left. And it's a one point game here. Seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, inside, and got the call. I'm going to the line, let's keep two, and we'll say it again. It's St. John's and Sons, so we're going to the lead. That's the first time of the game. That's Scott Stern. That's the fourth. Oh, that's a four foul, wow. Wow. So again, the senior is in trouble. With the fouls, I didn't find out. Two, one, but two, two, two. the fourth foul didn't come until the end of the fourth quarter. Now the senior is going to have all likelihood to come out of this game. Got the server. First lead here for St. John. Two, gone. And it's a little bit out. It's a one point lead for St. John's. Please just stay tuned for the fourth quarter. Probably going to be another treat like we had last time. The way back here in Fender for the WCAT Summer. Fourth quarter here, and what a huge sequence here. The senior Madison Scott, the All-American, once again in foul trouble in a match on your St. John's. That's a pick there by Hayes. Oh, that was just wild, a blocking foul. It's going to be the 13th foul against St. John's. The ball will stay on the floor. So unlike last week when Scott fouled out the game in overtime, 14 fouls now, one senior here before the fourth quarter. She has spent a lot of time guarding Daisy Fudd, the amazing junior for St. John's. Now that post might change. It was trying to change in the third because of the foul trouble. But they play good defense. Both sides have. St. John's up one just took their first lead before the end of the third quarter. Pitch! Long distance. That was no good. St. John's trying to pull it off here. To me, it wouldn't be an upset, but seating wise, it would be. Look at that. Tornado. Over to Corley. Pick. Good. The lead to three. A little movement out the ball. Ah, here's the back. Biggest lead for St. John's here by three. We can we call this game back up if you're back him up. And Vaughn is going for it and hits it. We are tied at 36. Time out by Mackerman. Yeah. Mustang take time. We're tied at 36. What a fourth quarter, what a game again. This game has been. Is part of six. We get to see both all the six girls and Bishop O'Connor girls for the first time this season. This is Bishop O'Connor's fault as they've been in a little while here in the women's pack. The WCAC got our round. All the six here a year ago. They got them ended by Bishop Mackerel. Let's see. Themselves when we get back to the final. We'll have that one coming up here in the last minute. Then we'll be switching over the boys' action. Number four in the WCAC, duking out once more. Samantha against St. John for the third time this season. The Zagan called a six. We'll meet for the third time this season. The Zaga pulled off a shooting clinic against Call of Six for their last meeting about two weeks ago almost. We have that. We have it all here in the Dodge Run number five. Stay tuned here today. It's a marathon again. On the way here. From home to the Patriot League of America. Not easy. Tied at 36. 
649 left in this. What a game, he's goodness. Once again, here between these two WCAC rivals. Oh, yeah. Quality with it. <coughs> Good. Pulls up. Front and miss. Long rebound. Tornado had it. And then we'll pop. Gotta give uh, St. Thomas credit here. They have dictated the pace inside. Made the rough calls and calls. Back over to the main road now. Back. But nice dribble work pulls up. And it did not go. Nice fight. Jump ball. Almost a triple cut of the jump ball. And it will go back to McNamara. They're trying to retake the lead here. So seven left in this one. We got a nice crowd here. It was a sold out house after the jump ball. We know it's so down. Goes up and in. The sophomore gives the Mustang. Five for three. Tip the miss. Dive the rebound and gives it up to Vaughn. Two point game here. Evans coming back in and just got my gunner in the corner of the blue minimal. Over. Shot clock at nine. Back over. Hits. Possessions are huge right now and a wasted one. We've seen several shots by violations here by the Lady Mustang. In a game of this magnitude, wasted one. Back over. Pulls up and shoots two. And again, St. John's. Left in this. Step back. What a miss. Bond with the rebound. Scott's looking to come back in. We say around that three minute mark, she will be back. And Harrison picks both. I think both of them are looking to come back in. Bond throws it up. Missed it off the back. Offensive rebound to King. Scores it. Lead back to the Mustangs by two. Off the screen. But to the ten. It went up high. The rebound back by Thomas. And it ties the game at 40. Thomas has done a lot. 
that's a day that you will see on the score stack. But she has kept St. John right in pace. Back, Evans. Went up, no good. Job back, over, and it went out. Rebound, back to the Lady Cadets. Corley, looking to give it up to somebody. She does there the tornado. 35 left. Both teams with four timeouts left. Club with it. Off the screen. Eight, seven, six. Floater! Missed it high off the rebound! Right there at the line to shoot two. Again, the free throw line has been used for St. John's. Touch on number two. It's again. That's a four. Time out. Time out. They got That's a fool. Time out. We're taking a fool here. What a game. What a game. Another pizza. Another rival. St. John's. She started to pull off at the but the free throw line. They've gotten a couple buckets in. They have helped them keep right in the pace of McAmer. It's a time 40 game. The foul been the issue for McAmara, including their All-American with four fouls, Madison Scott. She's coming back in the game now, and you know, St. John's will definitely try to attack her, try to get her out of this game for a second consecutive week between these two teams. The winner of this game plays all the six, or Bishop O'Connell, the two or three seeds, respectively. What a game that should be. Now, like I said, in the last meeting, I believe, they beat all uh, six. Then the WCC semifinals. Numbers guaranteed, and by the way, seedings are like they were last on the boys' side. And guess what? The three and four seeds beat the one and two to get to the final. Because I can St. John, we will hopefully maybe see one of them at least be able to die for a network. Once she do so, she was both as a two pounder. Scott and Pitts both back in the game for Bishop McNamara. Two for them right now. First shot in there. Got ourselves a one point lead. McNamara's biggest lead was eight early in the game. Second shot here. The rebound is a one point game for St. John. They're coming down the stretch here. 215 left. From over the pits. Back over the line again. Swings it back. Shot clock running down to eight. Scott. And a push. Blocking foul. 14 foul against. St. John's, not going to be coming out to the line, it's going to be on the floor. One to 18 seconds left in this one. 41-40. shooting and the All-American can come to the line and give the Lady Mustangs a lead back on. Wow, right now really for St. John's not a factor unless they get down. First shot we're tied again. Second shot. 
eight to one again for the Lady Mustang. Tornado. This is Die Sporting Network.